Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and today we're going to do a Legend of Lost Sector that is very farmable, and uh, today, at least if you see this on July 20th, after Daily Reset, which is 10am Pacific, until tomorrow, 10am Pacific, January 21st, you can farm legs, and you can farm these things in about 3 minutes on a bad run. You can do this thing really, really quickly. Uh, the burn is arc, so we're definitely going to match some stuff to take advantage of that. You have one solar wizard in here. That's it. I'll show you how to take care of that one. Champions are barrier and unstoppable. And then the hive modifier, fire pit. If you kill an acolyte, there's fire on their feet. And as the destination modifier is solar and environmental damage, basically that hurts a lot. So if you come in here, um, auto rifle, anti-barrier, or scout rifle, it's completely up to you. I'm just using auto rifles, and I didn't even have to switch from yesterday's lost sector. For my heavy weapon, I'm using a linear fusion rifle. You can do this with literally anything. I promise you. Just probably don't try a sword. Boss might smash you in the face. But even this sword can actually throw the uh, sword projectile and probably do a chunk of damage. But my advice, uh, I'll cover here in a second for some exotics and some legendary options. I'm using a grenade launcher for the unstoppable ogre. And it's a solar grenade launcher to take care of the solar wizard. Kind of two birds with one stone there. Auto rifle, pretty straightforward. Whatever your heavy is, make sure it's arc. We'll cover options. But ammo finder, reserves, and scavenger. Throw all of those on there. As for damage resistance, arc is not a bad one because you're going to have some exploder thrall that may want to kill you in the very beginning. It's probably the only place that's going to really be an issue. I think the boss might be arc as well. So arc isn't a bad one. Solar maybe is an alternative. Void resistance probably won't do as much here. It may do a little. If you are using a grenade launcher at all, breach and clear to add that bonus damage on and you're pretty much going to melt enemies and I'll show you guys how that works. A uh, quick run through for a couple of exotics if you have them. I know not everybody does. Darcy, that one's arc. Prospector, that one's arc. Ward Cliff Coil is probably the best one. Any, any honest, um, I would imagine if there's a champion or even the boss that you're near it with all the rockets that come out of this thing, if you prime it with a breach and clear grenade from your special weapon, it's just probably going to die. There's no question about it. I think this is, this is too powerful. Anarchy, of course, is going to be good. Uh, Queen Breaker's technically an infusion rifle, but I probably wouldn't spend the time to infuse that one. Uh, but those are the main ones. If you got Ward Cliff Coil, it's fantastic. But basically anything in the heavy weapon department, especially rocket launchers or grenade launchers, will do very well. Rocket launchers, you've got um, Sub-Zero Salvo, Huskal, if you've still got that one, which is still just funny to say. Um, Sleepless from the Dreaming City, definitely another option. Grenade launchers, I've been using Interference for a while for ARC. Uh, we did lose some. We've also got Blast Batui, which I'm still, I'm also saying wrong. So you got some options. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher, optimal. Linear fusion rifle, I'm showing you guys, isn't completely terrible. If you're using a legendary, make sure you throw a major spec on basically everything you're using. And just, you'll do a little bit more damage to every champion. All right. That's a little longer intro than I intended, but it still kind of covers everything. So we'll burn through this thing pretty fast. If I don't get an exotic on the first one, I might throw a second run in there just to show you guys how it can go through. Here we go. All right. So you're going to start in these little tunnels. Basically, always take a turn to the right. You know, like you're going through a maze, but you will actually get out of this one. Hug this right wall, and you'll kind of miss these few that are running by. They may try and swing at you, even if they hit you. Not the end of the world. Just keep going. They'll eventually stop. And just always turn to the right at any fork, and you'll be good. Once you make the long tunnel, we'll start doing this. I'm also using a void subclass. I didn't even switch that over, and you can still do this without pretty much anything else. So from here, you're going to have a few thrall, and what you're waiting for is actually going to be the big guy. And when the barrier champion comes in, I'm trying to see if I can time this one a little better than I usually do. The cursed thrall in here are probably the most annoying. Again, be ready. If you actually do stun a champion, make sure you're ready to actually do damage to it. Nice thing about Lunar Fusion Rifles, you actually got a decent amount of ammo. But I will say the Curse Thrall will kind of ruin you. So if you're trying to pass a Curse Thrall, you better hover, hover over it in the air fast. Trying to get stopped in a tunnel. And again, you can actually kind of come out, run across, and then kind of pull back here and hide a little bit. Acolyte's apparently going to be a little annoying. See, I've done this so much better with other weapons and loadouts. It's just every so often coming out of there. You might get overrun. Is there one over here? Nope. Seems to have killed them all. So here, with Breach and Clear and even my Linear Fusion Rifle, it's going to die. I can only imagine what Ward Cliff Coil would do to this guy. Watch. Here. Hit him. Breach and Clear. One. Two. And just the crit damage with the Linear Fusion Rifle. They got a little bit of a buff. They're still not amazing, but even there. This is fun for the fireworks. It's the only reason I'm really running Void. And... 
That's just always fun to do. It's a middle tree titan subclass if you're wondering what can do the fireworks. All right, when we're coming up here, make sure things are reloaded. You only need about two shots, so we're good. Switch over. Stun our champion. Kind of hit him on his chin or his nose, whatever you consider. I don't think they really have a face, but... Same thing here. One, two, dead. Reload. Jump up top. Depending on if there's anybody who's being annoying, you can throw a grenade down there, try and kill a few things. Use your grenade launcher to set up breach and clear on the boss. And hit him in the face about three times and you're done. Two minutes, 30 seconds. And the opening of that was actually pretty terrible. So I'm going to do it one more time, see if it can go a little smoother. But as you can tell, the second half of this thing goes really fast. All right, round two, here we go. All right, so same thing, run through. Um, always taking the right turn. Nice thing about running the Lost Sector again, if you're going to farm it, it reloads your ammo for you. I really wish more activities did this this way. Now, the Master Lost Sector, you'll have to go a little slower, but it's still farmable. But on Legend, this thing is stupidly farmable, so it's definitely one, if you're going for legs specifically, which is this season for the Splicer, one that I would recommend highly if you're looking for some new exotic legs to farm this one until you get what you need. Wait for these guys to bounce around the corner. You can kill a few, usually around this corner. Keep firing that grenade launcher a couple times. Works pretty well. When you actually see the big guy, be ready for him. And we can stun him real quick. I'll even throw a grenade and just kill him that way. There we go. Now, depending on if anything else is running in this tunnel, you might be able to get by the cursed thralls. Hop across. Grenade launcher should kill half of these guys fairly quick. Sometimes the auto rifle just needs a little bit of love. What's up? Load. Grenade should come back fairly soon. Make sure things are ready. I'm going to kill this guy in hopefully two shots again. Didn't quite get the bonus stun off, so we'll just go ahead and put the finish here. Turn, kill this guy. Wait for all the guys. Grenade is up at the perfect time. Wait for it, wait for it. Fireworks. Honestly, I would go into Arc subclass and use my super on, like, Thunder Crash if you had it. But if you don't, you realize you don't even need your super when you run this thing. Stun it. Two shots in the chin. Come around the corner, getting everything nice reloaded. Hit our wizard. Come over here. You're going to get the adds to hop off the cliff in front of you, which is fine. Just come up here. You might even kill half of those guys. Wait for them to pop out of the tunnel. Hit him. One, two, three, and you're good. Wait, there we go. I actually killed it too fast. And there's an exotic. One that I have about 20 copies of, but that is a wrap. So as you guys can see, that was 210. Now you may not have to do it that fast, but as you can tell, this Lost Sector is extremely farmable. That's a linear fusion rifle. You can probably use rocket launchers, ward cliff coil, things like that'll probably nuke it faster. Linear actually isn't terrible as I use this more and more because you have so many rounds to use. But overall, very, very farmable. Let's wrap this thing up. So as you guys can tell, this thing is very farmable depending on what heavy weapon you use. It may go even a little faster if you use your super. If you can even get your super up in two minutes, as you guys can saw, it goes that fast. Uh, just make sure your heavy is arc. You need one to kill that solar wizard, and then you can actually spawn the boss. So that's why having a solar weapon is good. Breach and clear on a solar grenade launcher works actually kind of fantastically perfect, and then your heavy will nuke the boss. So overall, farm for some legs. If you guys get any good rolls, good exotics, let me know down below in the comments. If you guys do have any loadouts that you like using that may have worked better than this basic one, which most people should find a better loadout than this one, look, comment down below, share those with others. If you guys want to see Master Lock Test Sectors, those are coming. I've recorded quite a few, and I'm going to put basically a Lost Sector every day for kind of the next rotation as I head out of town for vacation early August. So look for those coming in early August. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, you want to see more stuff coming from me, if you don't want to miss those Master Guides, hit that subscribe button. Button. Also, the alert bell helps my videos make it into your feed so you guys actually see them. If you guys want to find me on Twitter, it's at Ebontis and twitch.tv slash Ebontis. I stream Destiny amongst a variety of other things as well. Just started my Mass Effect 2 journey, so if you want to check that one out, tune in. Thank you guys. Have, have fun and good luck.